straight ahead from the Mark G. Edison Arena in Atlantic City. Our first bout as the super middleweights take center stage. Highly regarded Omar Sheikah against Kevin Pompey. Let's take a look at Kevin Pompey. A tale of uh, two careers. Winless his last six. Lost 11 of his last 17. A list of opponents that includes recognizable names. Split a pair with Harold Brazier. Lost to Buddy McCurt. Troy Waters. Laurent Badwani had a draw with Donnie Lalonde. His career, though, began in more promising fashion. In fact, prior to his downslide, which began in 93, he was 28-4-1. The high point winning the USBA welterweight belt in 92. Ferdy, even though he has struggled of late, could his experience be a factor, or is he simply tailor-made for Omar Shika? I think the latter. He's tailor-made. Anytime you got experience against a very good fighter like Shika, it's inevitable that Shika will overwhelm him. He is in his last days, the last days of Bombay. Oh, I had a feeling we might hear that. Let's take a look at his opponent. Omar Shika, 17 and 1, 12 knockouts, made his pro debut in 97 after a very very good amateur career opened his pro career at the age of 20 with 12 fights in one year he won all 12 after going 14 and 0 with nine knockouts his first and only loss a decision to a guy named Tony Booth in England but since the loss he's knocked out his last three all within three and Bobby how good is she well you know Omar Sheik has been brought along Steve very carefully somewhat of an offensive machine but tonight becomes somewhat of a proving ground for him if he can take Kevin Pompey to task take him out and handle him well he shows he's right over the next level. If Pompey makes him look bad, takes him a distance in a sloppy fight, he shows that he's not quite ready to move up just yet. All right, let's check the numbers as we go to the tail of the tape. At 20, Sheikah, get this, 12 years younger than Pompey. Three-inch height advantage for Sheikah. The weight almost even. Sheikah given a little leeway there, as you can see. One-inch difference in reach and the key unified rules for this fight. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, it's a technical draw. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecard. So here at the Mark G. Edis Arena, we're ready for a scheduled 10-round bout between Omar Sheikah and Kevin Pompey. The formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Mark G. Edis Arena here at the magnificent Trump Taj Mahal Casino Resort in Atlantic City, New Jersey, as we have a big night of action coming away, and it's all brought to you by Frank Warren's Sports Network in association with Dylan Productions, Showtime, Event Television, Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts, and the undefeated, undisputed King of Beers, Budweiser. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we present one of our special attractions coming away, introducing to you our judges, appointed by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. The chairman is Jerry Gormley. Judges at ringside from Barnegat, New Jersey, Barbara Perez, from Edison, New Jersey, Shafiq Rashada, and from Kearney, New Jersey, Paul Venti, with our referee in charge of this bout. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Tony Orlando. All right, fans, here we go with a super middleweight special attraction scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks and joining us from Troy, New York. He weighed in at 168 pounds with a record of 32 wins, 15 losses and three draws. He has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the durable contender known as the Troy Tiger, introducing Kevin Pompey. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this 10-round attraction, entering the ring wearing black trunks with white lettering, fighting out of Patterson, New Jersey. His weight, 169 pounds. His fine record stands at 17 wins, one loss with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the IBF number five super middleweight contender in the world. They call him the pride of Palestine and Patterson introducing Omar Shika. Once again, a referee in charge, Tony Orlando, now to give instructions, 10 rounds of boxing schedule. Okay, gentlemen, you received my instructions, therefore I expect a clean, professional bout. Is that clearly understood? Yes, sir. Listen to my commands. 
I want you to shake hands, touch gloves, go back to your corner. Bobby, keys to victory. Well, Omar Shaker, he's got to land those heavy shots early, and he's got to land them often and break down Kevin Pompey. And the reverse side, that is, Pompey has to make Shaker miss and counterpunch very well, take him into the rounds. This is scheduled for 10 super middleweights, as you saw on the tail of the tape. Shika pound over. Shika very aggressive. He is terrifically strong, big banger, and has a solid left hook. Pompey, uh, more of a boxer, counter puncher. Shika told us Pompey is a warrior. He, he's fought just about everybody, has respect for him, but he said he'll, he'll be fighting to survive. He'll feel my power. There's certainly no quit in Kevin Pompey. He'll fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. He doesn't mind. Just put your name on a contract. Let's go. Pompey, a teacher's aide when he's not fighting in Troy, New York, a middle school uh, up there. Uh, he found out about this fight about a week and a half, two weeks ago, said he turned it down twice before finally saying OK. When I asked him why, he, he gave in. He said, because I'm adventurous. I think they might have made it worth his while as well. Yeah, you can pay a few bills with this. You know? Yeah, I think dollar signs may have had something to do with it. And at one time, he was also a uh, semi-pro football player in the uh, New England Patriots Farm Club, and they said he was a good quarterback. Beautiful right hand and left hook by Shaker. He is strong, very determined, and purposeful. Shaker moving in. Boy, he is a slugger, but Pompey is, uh, you know, no quitting him as well. As, as Shaker pointed out, the guy is a, is a warrior. But he's putting the cheek is putting in everything he's got into these punches. I mean, these are not feel out punches, not first round punches. These are middle of the fight punches. And if she could get an opponent in trouble, he is a terrific finisher. Yeah, that, that's that's the uh, sheet on him that he can finish. Once you get in trouble, he knows how to close the door. You know, he started his training and works out of the Lou Costello Sportsman Club in Patterson, where I first started boxing in 1972. Yeah, the legendary comedian who teamed up with Bud Abbott was not a bad fighter, Lou Costello. Kevin Pompey has fought most of his career at 147. The last few fights moving way up to 168. These are vicious left hooks to the ribs by Sheikha. Now these are damaging punches, no question about it. This is punishment. You can see he's just so strong. He's got such an arsenal in both hands, very heavy-handed, and he is committed to every shot he throws. Yeah, he, he doesn't, he, he, he's not throwing any feel-out punches. Everything is meant to hit something and hurt. Pompey said he's got to fight intelligently, not let Sheikha take control, make him pay when he misses, and watch out for that big punch the left took. But that's easier said than done against a powerful guy like Sheikha. Straight right hand by Sheikha that got through the gloves. He sent everything up off the jab, though. He's, he's been to school. Ooh, oh, these are solid shots, Hooked doubling up on the left. Oh. Yeah, no, he, did, he did an over and under as opposed to an under and over, and he threw it well. And landed it well. Oh, Ooh, low, 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 low there by Pompey, but Orlando cautioning him to keep him up. Final seconds of the opening round. Well, oh, it's a pretty good right, right before the bell by Pompey. Right on the net. She can very convincing in that first round. He convinced me he's serious. Give me water. This is a good round. This is a good round. Shake it, the aggressor here. He loves to come in with combinations. There is a beautiful right hand after an uppercut and a hook. He stayed on top of Pompey, and then he eventually let him go. But he is the aggressor. He's going to put the pressure on and keep the power punches in. He also never, re never neglects the body. Here's a left hook to the head. And the body I talked about a little bit ago and over and under as opposed to an under and over. Beautiful double left hook. <laughs> you hear a lot of that here in Atlantic City, over under. Yeah. Here we go, round two, along with the left hooks to the body. Sheikah also connecting several times in round one with straight rights to Pompey's head. Let's see if the punishment rages on. You can also see the difference in size of these two men. Pompey started as a legitimate welterweight, and he's blown up uh, with pounds, but not in, in body. I mean, he still looks like a welterweight. The other guy looks much bigger. He looks like a quarterback. That's what he looks like without the equipment. As you said, football, his first love. 
He said if he had his brothers, he'd be a football player. He may be thinking about that now. He could use some of the equipment to keep the bouncing, thudding punches off his head right now. Pompey was very candid in the interviews. He said, listen, I know they look at me as a journeyman, just a trial horse that they got to get through and do their thing. I'm an underdog. I was brought in here as a sacrificial lamb. He said, but I know I also have to weather a terrible onslaught in the first three or four rounds if I'm going to have a chance to win it. Well, he almost lost his balance there to Pompey as he's backed against the ropes and gets pummeled here. Down he goes. Big right hand. Put him down. Three, see, that right hand was not only four, good, but it was just so powerful. Five, it drove him to the floor. Six, well, I think those punches seven, to the body before the really set him up, Bobby. There was two or three thumping body shots. I mean, clear body shots. These are sledgehammer shots by Sheikah. So the first knockdown of the fight, it comes in the second round. He puts uh, Pompey off balance again, and he is opening up, pouring it off. This could be a matter of moments. Down again. The punches are too heavy and they're too much. There's no three knockdown rule. So he's down 58 seconds in the round two, then a minute 23 in the round two. If he goes down again, Tony Orlando's a very good and confident referee. He will stop this. Yeah, fight. maybe academic anyway, as far as the rules. I, I think he's looking at him right now. If, if he stops along the ropes and gets pummeled, this referee's going to move in. Pompey just looking to survive the round. Minute 10. Got a long way to go. Right above us, he's getting drilled. Oh, what a right hand. Look at the referee, just about to bounce in. It's just very, very to close to being over, folks. Pompey yep. in all kinds of desperate trouble here. And he's got almost a minute to go in the round. Clearly Body shots, and then upstairs, pummeling Pompey. Tony Orlando looking in very closely. This could be over very soon. What's 40 seconds. For? Oh, oh, come he's on. getting destroyed. What's he waiting Wait. for? Pompey has not really thrown a punch back in quite some time. It can't go much longer. He can't even stand. His legs are totally rubbery. There he fired a hook, but it was really not much. How does this fight continue? You gotta stop this fight. He's been down twice. He has no chance. And he's getting pummeled. And he's an old guy. He's no, got no. tremendous heart guts, though. Hanging in there. Oh, what a right hook by Sheikah, and he continues to drill if it wasn't, If it wasn't for that last combination back by Pompey, I'll tell you right now, Tony Orlando put his left shoulder in, he's gonna stop. Pompey fighting back against the crowd of Rose at the bell. Oh, you talk about resolve, he can barely make it to the, to the stool. There's no quit in him, Steve. Take a look at those knockdowns. Omar Sheikh is so strong that, and his power on his shots, there, there he almost gets Pompey off his feet. But here he's just banging him with all 150 some odd pounds and just firing it in there. Now that right hand was on the shoulder more than it was on the jaw, but it was so strong it just drove him to the floor. The second knockdown, he was started teeing off on him and catch him clean on top of the head. There, beautiful right hand in the temple. Pompey was driven to the floor once again. That shot much more significant than the first right hand. Here we go into round three. Tony Orlando ducked into the Pompey corner and advised Pompey to protect himself. That's, that's pretty good advice. Up. He stumbles but doesn't go down. It looked like half a slip. Off balance, Pompey, but Sheikah doesn't let up. Relentless attack. Nice left hook landed by Pompey. It actually back shake up a little bit. But he just doesn't have the guns. He's not a one-punch knockout artist. Almost everything Pompey throws is getting through. Well, they say he can finish, and that's what he almost did last time, but didn't. Two I knockdowns mean, yeah. in the last round. Hey, he should have finished that round off. Well, I'll tell you, he took a lot of energy to put on that performance in round two by Sheikah, so he's going to have to settle down now and harness his energy if this fight gets past another round or two. Yeah, Pompey just uh, hoping that Sheikah punched himself out. But probably not the case. Sheikah in tremendous condition. 22 years old, very strong, very young. I tell you what, Pompey not, not on solid legs. You know, I'll tell you how much there's no quit in Pompey. He was in the corner, and the referee said, "If you get in trouble like that again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stop it. Do you want to continue?" He said, "Sounds good to me." Oh, look he's at him. He's, he's been doing the fighting this round. Look at him. He's the guy that's taking the beating, yet he's the one that's doing the punches. 
So she can take a little breather and get this gas tank to fill up again. Lashika, in his mind, knows uh, he can have his way at any moment here, but Pompey says otherwise as he answers back with a combination to the head. Pompey is boxing a little smarter now, mostly because Sheikha stopped throwing those big bombs. And he's letting him get off first. Booming shots here by Omar Sheikha, but a left hook counterpunch by Pompey. Right on the jaw. Oh, there's a heavy right hand by Sheikha right on the temple. That was a beautiful right hand. He slipped the jab and fired a right hand over it and caught Pompey cleanly in the jaw. Overhand right, right on target. Taking it a little desperate with those uppercuts. He shouldn't throw them that far away. I mean, he, he, he's got to set it up. He can't just fire from way out there and hit those heavy, uh, those uppercuts. Shaker looks tired. He just looks like, hey, I had a big round. Let me take a little, take a breather here before I start, which has gotten Pompey brave. What's well, amazing is that Pompey's got that much left to be firing with that, with that steam that he's doing. He, took a the, big beating. he had just threw a nice triple left hook, two to the head, one to the body, landed cleanly. But again, he's not the big puncher that Sheik is. And be mindful, Pompey, 12 years older than Sheik. Landing with that left, those uppercuts not getting through, and a counter. Oh, the head that Shika at the bell. Interesting. You know, he might have won that round, Steve. He, he really worked the round well. He he won that round, Bobby. He, he worked. You heard him with that right hand at the end. He worked. Get more water in there. All right. You have the same thing. You got to be boxing. That was a beautiful round. Yeah. It's a deep breath. You see something? Right there. Second win. Now we're starting working the body. Cannot stand up in front of him, though. Don't stand up straight in front of him. You're still not bending your knees. Right. You're still not getting down low. Okay? Take the chair back. Come on. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Really good body points. Better round now. You're starting to get the rhythm. All right. Stay focused, Kevin. That was a beautiful round. What? That was beautiful. Kevin. End of the round. Kevin Pompey shows you that he is no quitting him. There's a nice under and over left hook. An uppercut, a few more combinations. Shaker responds, but Pompey fires right back and rocks Shaker with a nice under and over left uppercut right hand. So here we go into round number four, scheduled for 10 super middleweights. Things getting most interesting here. Beautiful right hand is now by Pompey, but Shaker's got some of that energy tank back. Oh, he's got he's, it back. He's mad. Yeah, he got it back. He said, hold it, I was just filling up. Now we, we resume where we were before. Yeah, for some reason, Sheikha taking off the last round, perhaps punching himself out over the first few rounds, and Pompey able to take advantage and probably won the third. Sheikha says to himself, I've had enough. Let's go back to it. Saddle left took, but it was blocked by the glove of Sheikha. Combination to the head, the left made it, the right was blocked by Sheikha. Now Sheikha trying to come in from underneath, but being blocked by Pompey. Pace is still staying a little slower than the first two rounds. Sheikha's tank may not be, a big, be as refueled as we have thought. And meanwhile, Pompey may be gaining energy. Boy, we thought this thing was over in the second round when Pompey went down twice, 58 seconds and a minute 23. We were seconds away. Had he not thrown a combination, uh, the, the referee had his shoulder in there to stop it, and, and Pompey fired off. There's a left hook to the neck by Pompey that landed. Pompey now the aggressor, rolls have reverse just a little bit. Now Sheikha is loading up, which could be somewhat dangerous. He's telegraphing his punches. And let's see if Pompey can take advantage. He's been loading up with that right hand and uh, le letting his left way low. Look at look at the way he yeah. holds his left way down there. That of course that? display. Look yes, absolutely. It also displays that he doesn't have respect for uh, Pompey's answers. Good left hook. Pompey continuing to press the action and make Omar Sheikha back up. Yeah, Pompey 
since the last round dictating the pace. What a turnaround. Shake is nowhere near as effective going backwards as he is coming forward. He is a forward minded offensive minded fighter. Sheikah has split with the train. Oh, what a left and a right off the head by Pompey. Sheikah splitting with famous trainer Kevin Rooney. Perhaps that has something to do with it. Oh, a straight right right on the chin by Pompey. Another round being won by Pompey. Final seconds. There's another straight right. You know, Pompey's landed a lot of shots in this round. And there's the foul to end round four. Let's go over to Jim Gray. Jim. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Coming up in the next bout, we've got Marco Barrera. You were supposed to fight Marco against Vasquez. However, that fight did not come off. Are you disappointed? Well, disappointing is very hard. I come in to win the fight, working very hard for this fight. I work in the Centro Ceremonial to to look for this fight. All right. Gladys Rose is going to help us out a little bit, uh, interpreting what was the end of that. He was saying that he has worked uh, very hard for this fight. And uh, he's been working at a centro to me, which is uh, in Temoaya at a very high altitude. Uh, well, what about uh, his opponent tonight, uh, Morin? Does he know much about him? In English, if, if possible. Uh, I don't know what happened with Change the Ruiva, because I am working for fight with Vasquez, but wait 30 days be between the fight. Uh, Senor Ricardo Maldonado called me that he said that. I go to fight with uh, Pastor Maurin with, uh, from Argentina. All right. We look forward to that fight, and we look forward to Vasquez. If we can get that together, they're fighting out in the ring. Steve? All right, Jim. Reverse translation. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Rounds three and four, the young contender. Sheikha learned that the much-traveled veteran Kevin Pompey will not be intimidated. He entered round five. No, Kevin Pompey is not going to go quietly into that good night. He, he came to fight. He got this fight on short notice, and he looks good right now. Winless in his last six fights. Oh, five and oh, one. what a right hand spun him around. Yep, Shika out of nowhere. This is another sequence, though, of Shika unloads all the rest of that gas tank. What happens if Pompey survives? Oh, he, he's been loading up that right hand. That comes Pompey with a right hand. He works to his left. Well, he did not follow that great right hand up with the effectiveness he had earlier on. So. He certainly is not fighting at full speed. The but vicious nature right, which back, he Step used back. earlier to try and close the show is not there right now, or the energy is not there. Speaking of closing the show, this fight could have been stopped in the second round, and nobody would have complained about it. You know, and, and if you're looking at just the, the people that score by rounds, this fight's two rounds to two rounds. But uh, by points, of course, shake his head by virtue of that big, big uh, second round. Yeah, that may have been a 10-7. Right? I, I gave it 10-7 for such a beat. So that makes it 38 to 36. But by rounds, two to two. Halfway through round five, scheduled for ten. Shika looking to dig the right uppercut to the body and gets a warning from Orlando to keep the punches up. The combination by Pompey, the left landed. This fight will really get interesting if we get past the fifth or sixth round. That will really start to tell. As the fight goes on, just what kind of shape Shake is in, Look just what Pompey. kind of experience factor that Pompey has. He's all over Sheikha, and back comes Sheikha. Boy, Pompey with a terrific flurry there. This is some exchange now. Right uppercut by Pompey. Right to the chin of Sheikha, and that sent him back. And Sheikha comes back. Boy, we've got some ebb and flow going here. Yeah. It you're left with the thought that as long as things are going his way, he's a hell of an offensive fighter, Sheikha. But when he gets on the defensive, a lot to be desired here because this old guy is taking him to the cleaners. Pompey is landing combinations. Look at that. Landed again with a right hand. He just seems to be getting uh, stronger as this fight goes on. Well, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Step back, please. Okay. Terrific recuperative powers by the veteran Kevin Pompey, 34 out of Troy, New York. Huh, another one in the skip for Pompey. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 no,
Okay. Relax. Relax. Every time I heard him. Relax. Okay, okay. Okay, okay that, that, that round there, you, you heard him and you, were, you, know, you didn't want to run out of gas, right? Is that what happened? Shake opened up this round with a beautiful right hand and didn't quite follow up the way he did in the second round. But that right hand had Pompey in trouble, had him very wobbly. But Pompey recovered very quickly. Shake couldn't keep this sting on him. Pompey came back with the combinations. Not as big a puncher, but a lot more of them. To the head and body there, five, six, seven shots, followed up with two more, and again, another right hand and a left hook. This kid will not quit. And that was a I lot of points back. being built up, Bobby. A lot of points. So I gave that round of Pompey again. We're now at three rounds to two. I had that round for uh, Shake. I thought he was too strong early. And I don't think Poppy did quite enough to steal the round back. Halfway through this bout, it looks like uh, referee Tony Orlando made the right decision not to stop the fight. Uh, back in round two. Very interesting bout. Let's get your unofficial scores at the halfway point. Uh, I got to shake ahead 47 to 46. Well, you have it awfully tight. Of course, that second round was probably a 10 second round. Here's Sheka really opening up on Pompey. Oh. There's a wicked right hook. Another right hook. But back comes uh, Pompey with a left hook. Pompey is doing something very cute, Steve. What he's doing is blocking. He's doing his best to block the right hand and counter with a left hook. Normally, you counter a right hand with a right hand. This is not an orthodox counter, but very effective. Tony Orlando asking Pompey, are you okay? He says, yeah, I'm all right. And he gets right back to it. He got in a lot of good right hands just then. Low, low, low left hand there by Pompey. Well, he's one gutty fighter, and he's taking a lot, but he's also dishing it out. Pompey in the red. Look at this. Shoe shine on the face. We check the online scoring. It's uh, close at home. Pompey ahead. After uh, I haven't seen three to two. I have it three oh. to two the other way. Big right hand by Shaker. Pompey okay. took that very well, but it looked like it hurt him good. Fans gave uh, rounds three, four, and five to Pompey. Yeah, I did too because of that big, big rally off the ropes. I mean, he must have hit him twenty good shots. But Shaker looks like he's back a little bit better than in the past uh, rounds. He's gotten him in trouble now two or three times. There you go. He's, he's punching with a much more authority. And the bigger the difference is Pompey lands, but Chica's punch is so much more powerful. Big difference here was round two. It had to be a 10-8 or 10-7 round in favor of Chica. The two knockdowns usually makes it a 10-7 round. Right. Combination to the head, but slithered off the face of Sheka. So Bobby, what do you got in, in points? Good right hand by Pompey. Points have a 48-45 for Sheka. Boy, as Pompey digs to the ribs with that left hook. That punch was blocked. It looked good, but it was blocked by the left glove of Pompey. Back comes Pompey. He is some counter puncher, and he can take it. He's absorbed a lot of heat. There's a Beautiful. straight right hand off the combination by Pompey. He threw a nice left uppercut and a right hand over the top, square in the button of Shaker. Shaker's legs are dead. I mean, this guy is just walking around flat-footed like he has two irons in his feet. Right. Step back. He has no Step bounce back, in his legs. Oh, a straight right hand right on the nose by Kevin Pompey. Watch your head. Watch your head, gentlemen. Shots are just so big and so heavy. Big finish there by Sheikah. Yeah, I don't go down this way. He's made a fucking steal. Sit down. Sit down. Give me the mouthpiece. Give me the mouthpiece. Good. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. I want you to throw the hook. Now. I want you to double the hook, though. You still didn't double the hook. I'm going to keep double the hook. Oh, no, All right, Nick. Huh? He takes a punch. I know he, he takes a punch. I know he takes a punch. Don't worry about it. I need something deeper, baby. Let's see talk to about Sheikah's right hand with Pompey. He's getting his home, too. Throws a nice jab out there. Bang, right hand, right on the nose, being very effective. Again, not the puncher that Sheik is. Sheik will not be denied, though. He's going to get his pound of flesh as well. There's a nice right hand down the middle. Not as effective as it was earlier. It doesn't have quite the steam on it. There's a roundhouse. That right hand, much better. Got the adrenaline flowing. More punches to follow just as the round closed. Omar Sheikah has been passed the fourth round only once in the last six fights as we enter round seven, and he lost that fight, so he could have a stamina problem. Well, that, that, that corner man's a 
he must have a job iron to <laughs> take this and the fighter said man that guy can take a punch yes she is new corner Al Velasquez once again we see a fighter taking a fight on short notice and comes in uh, seemingly very prepared and ready to go at it uh, the only explanation I can have is this guy must stay prepared you know a lot of, yeah, a lot of guys do that too. a lot of guys a lot of guys work out regularly just ready to go and he's he's starting to be considered somewhat of an opponent journeyman so he stays ready when the call comes the numbers right he does what he has to he got some slick him on his foot yeah let's hope we don't have a uh, recurrence of what we had in Atlantic City uh, back in the winter when some water gets on the advertisements it gets slick well they, and, and also they were just painting this as uh, as we walked in early this afternoon they were still painting it so I that's first pretty thought, wet. at first I thought he was doing a Michael Jackson imitation <laughs> doing a little slide well, he's, backwards. Got, he's got two gloves on not one okay round seven got that habit of extending his arms out well, too for a second it, it must be his arms are cramping up where he's getting a little stiff he's an old guy you know, and uh, if I'm Chica, when I see him doing that what would well, you do well you, you can't get to him in time okay. okay he does it from pretty far away oh, oh there's a solid right cross yeah was that a bashing right cross by Pompey right upside the head right but you understand he doesn't have the power it's more of an arm shot than a shake a punch a shaker right hand is being turned in right leg right hip all firing in with his back Pompey not that big a puncher but throwing crisp combinations yeah, it doesn't seem to have uh, that much impact on uh, Sheikah. yeah but I'm I, what I, I'm, I'm going back to the top of the show when Bobby said listen this is a fight where this guy's got to show us what he's got he's been going with easy guys now let's see what he's got with a veteran if he doesn't look good well look what's happening look what's happening though he's getting hit by everything this Pompey's throwing and it's Pompey imagine if you're fighting a real good fighter getting in those right hand shots by a guy who is supposed to be a washed up fighter yeah and, and, a, and a blown up welterweight on top of it. right and 12 years older so uh, I mean if, if he's landing those shots imagine a real cannon uh, land look at that oh look a right hand there overhand right by Kevin Pompey that rattles Shika The foul in round seven. There's that thing he does again. Pump it. All right, let's uh, get it over to Bobby Chez for a look via the telescreen. One of the better punches on the inside. Here you see shorter fighter. Okay, shorter fighter. Pompey against a taller man. He's got all the leverage in the world to this uppercut right up on the inside. One of the most effective punches in the world as we roll the tape. This is just a beautiful shot on the inside. What he should have come back with was a left hook right behind that. But that is how you work on the inside. You're backing him up the whole goddamn time. You gotta throw more punches back in the ball. Deep breath. Come on. You just you gotta get off. That's all right. Three rounds. Come on. Come on. You're winning this fight, man. Let's use last three rounds for Elijah, all right? Come on. Come on. Elijah. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Longtime friend Billy Growick uh, in the ear of Kevin Pompey. They came up together in the amateurs. They're about the same age. Meanwhile, uh, a sense of urgency uh, in that Omar Sheikah corner, round eight. And what a bounce back situation here for the man in red, veteran uh, Kevin Pompey. He took this fight on short notice. He's the heaviest he's ever been in his career, but he is showing good stamina here, Pompey. And Chico comes in here with his great reputation being a finisher. Meanwhile, didn't finish in the second round, and all of a sudden he is showing a leaky defense. It's leaking right hands. What you have to wonder is if you've got a fighter who punches as good as Sheikah, punching back at Sheikah, what'll happen? And here comes Sheikah. Non-stop attack, very aggressively pouring it on, and Tony Orlando steps in, and Pompey! Four. 
So Tony Orlando hearing it from the crowd, hearing it from the crowd. Pompey in his corner, uh, extremely upset that they stopped the fight uh, based on what had happened earlier. Well, you know what, Steve? Based on what happened in the second round, based on the fact that he survived triple that onslaught, I think Tony Orlando made a judgmental error. I think he's a great referee. I have a lot of respect for him. But I think based on what we've shown Pompey can take and come back from, he has to withstand. He has to absorb. He has to allow the bigger, heavier man to unload and come back. And I really think that that was a short stoppage. Damn. I think if it was going to be a stoppage, the one in the second round was justified. They should have stopped it. He was taking a but not this one. That I can live with. I'm not going to question it because I thought he should have stopped it in the second round. So I'm not going to uh, question. It. Well, we're going to take a look at it. Pompey is on the ropes. He's got his back to the rope. Shaker comes in stronger man. Now those shots weren't real clean. Two of those were really clean. Three and four and five landed. A lot of this stuff though misses. Some of the stuff here is more show than go. At the same time, Pompey did not. To Tony Orlando's credit fire back. He needed to fire back, not just cover. We'll look at it from another angle. Pompey setting his guy up. I believe he came out with this on his mind. He's beaten his guy enough, worked him, worked his body, worked his jaw. A few of these shots are very clean, but they're not the same big shots in the second round. I had a better feeling about the second round if he would have stopped it than I did here. Pompey showed that he could take this kind of punishment and come back, and I don't think that was as bad as the second round. An overhead last look at it. You see that right hand doesn't hit. They don't really catch him. That one does down the middle. That one does. Every other right hand seems to catch it, but a few of those just are swinging shots, punching through the gloves. Not real effective shots, not real clean shots. But again, Pompey did not punch back. And you know that what? That is key. It may have been an unpopular decision. Tony Orlando is a very good referee. He's right there on top of the action. And uh, I've got to believe he made the right call. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon with his call. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of 44 seconds in round number eight, our referee in charge stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, the pride of Palestine and Patterson, Omar Shika. 44 seconds, round eight, TKO for Omar Shika. But a lot more compelling and dramatic than anticipated uh, by Shika and by the fans. Well, coming up next, let's hope we have the same terrific action. Championship action, WBO Junior Featherweight title at stake. We go behind the scenes into the dressing room of Marco Antonio Barrera, the champion, relentless fighter, comes off the impressive second round TKO over Paul Lloyd in Lloyd's backyard of England back in April to retain the title. You may recall Lloyd provided some difficulty for Prince Nassim Hamed, but he was no trouble for Barrera. Tonight, Barrera's 14th world title fight as he takes on relatively unknown Pastor Marin. We're ready for post-fight reaction from our last bout. This should be interesting. Let's go to the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco in the ring. Ferdy? Metal, metal, metal. That uh, fight much harder than, than it looked in the second round. You think it should have been stopped? Well, the second round, he, um, I exploded on him maybe a little bit too much, but he surprised me a lot. I knew he was a tough fighter coming in. He fought five tough ranked guys in the world and they all took him decisions. So my goal was to stop him and come in, but he was a lot stronger than I thought. He could take a very good punch. And I give a lot of credit to him. He's a warrior fighter and I need his kind of experience moving on to a world title fight. Did you kind of run running. out of gas after the second round for the third and fourth and fifth? He took the round, the rounds one after the other. Well, sir, I knew I got a little over punched myself, but I'm in great shape. I knew I had 10 rounds. I tried to take him out too early. I knew I had a whole night. So, so I know he's a tough fighter. He's going to keep coming. So I just let him, let him build his well, confidence up once he got close. And when I had him hurt, I just started. I got my win back with the beginning of the round. Kevin, hate to say it, but you were going to go anyway, buddy. Uh, well, they, that, they, <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have a different opinion over here. But, but, Pompe, come in here a second. You, you, you deserve to be right in here. Yeah. Uh, that, that stop it. You screamed and hollered no. Yeah. You didn't think he should have been stopped? No, because when he hit me the first in the earlier rounds, that was even more than that. You know what I'm saying? He had me on Queer Street and I got myself back together. Right there, he didn't hurt me at all. You know, it was like nice bludgeoning punches, you know, hit me. You know, I'm trying to come back. You know, I, 
right when I was going to throw a hook, the referee comes and grabs me. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you thought you could continue on. Did you think you had a chance of winning the fight? It was a pretty close I fight. I thought I was ahead in the scoring. I was, I was after, after the, right. you know, he come out, I, I'm fighting. I, I'm fighting. I'm biased. I'm Where's biased Orlando? to myself. Orlando, come here. You know what I'm saying? Where's Orlando? <laughs> hey, hey, Orlando, can, can you talk to us a second? Uh, we're in the middle of a heated dispute here between two guys. We got the the Why second round. You well, could have stopped it without any problem. He did a great job. But, 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 life. yes, but did you think that last round should have been stopped because he claims he's not really getting well, it? I'll tell you something. I almost stopped it in the third, was it the second round, second. whatever. But my main job is the safety of the boxer. Uh, he kept coming back, and I appreciated that. I let him continue many times when he got hit with some good punches. But he went into a passive defense. He got hit with about eight to ten shots. How far do you let it go? I'd rather him come back and fight another day. And yeah, I congratulate turn, him on a great fight. All right, fighter. let's turn around. But with this miracle of, of, of here, let's, let's take a look at round two. This is the one I thought it should have been stopped. Here's the fir first knockdown now. Uh, all right, all right, T talk to us. Well, I seen him right there to ropes. I seen I had him hurt. Thought I was going for the finish. I told you I'm a terrific finisher. But he was a veteran fighter. He could take a good punch. So I knew that I had to throw more combination punches than one punch. Now, now that one was high, high on the shot. Now the yeah. second one, you take it, Papa. It, it, or, were you conscious of, of yeah, what was going on? Yeah, I was very right. conscious. Right, let, let, take the look. I at knew the it was coming. I, tell I, us, I, tell us. I knew he was going to come wide with one shot, and then when when he came wide with the one shot I was looking for, I was going to counter real, real hard with him. I now, was waiting, waiting my now, time. Now that that, that, that was, was a, a very good knockdown. It was not there, but following that, that he took the, the punishment that we thought well, you should have stopped the fight there after two knockdowns. Yes, I was very close. Matter of fact, I you couldn't come. In there. I couldn't come closer to pulling the trigger I, I did at that time. But he came back. He was All responsive. Right. He, he was that. We had we've had a damn good fight here. This, hey, we can't we can't complain. All right, end of the fight. Let's go. Let's take a look at this. You see me? I had my energy. I was going to just explode, explode, but he was taking good, clean punches right there. Referee would have not stopped it. He was going to the corner. He was ready to go. He had his hands down. Referee oh, saved your life, buddy. Where's the hook? They ran the glove. Yeah. Oh, and the fight continues. Oh, the, glove, <laughs> the fight they continues. The glove, but nonetheless, but nonetheless, the winner is Sheikah. And we go back to Steve Albert at ringside as the argument continues. All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Ferdy. Through seven, the judges had it. Uh, for Shika all the way 67 64 67 65 and 68 63 and round two was scored by two judges 10 8 by one judge 10 7 but she can make it academic in round eight well, I had seconds. it 67 64 so I agree with okay. one of the judges I believe it was uh, Barbara Perez Shika goes to 18 and 1 with the uh, 13 knockouts and Pompey 32 16 and 3 we checked the online voting and they had it uh, Pompey's way five to three and if you took part we thank you for your participation the online voting will continue with the start of our next bout Barrera versus uh, Marin let's get it over to